guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this video with you guys today because we are in my favorite room in the house and I am going to share all the details of my cloppus with you. I call it the cloppus because I have all of my shoes, all of my handbags, I have all the clothes that I'm about to shoot back here and not only that, I have my desk where I get all of my work done for the vlog and then <laughs> what y'all are sitting on right now is my vanity. So. This room, <laughs> I moved into Jeremy's bachelor pad two years ago after we got married and he had this empty room upstairs and it was a little tricky because I'll, you guys will see more in the video, but the ceilings are vaulted. So there's not a lot of storage space going upwards. So I wanna show you guys some of the tricks and tips that I used to maximize this space and turn it into the girliest room in the house. And I love it so much. So y'all come on with me. All right, this is a loft space, so I wanna give you guys a quick overview of what the whole room looks like so you can kinda of get a feel for the layout. So I wanna start with what is the newest addition to my room because if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I arrange and rearrange this room. But I had book storage in these kind of white cubes and I recently went all Marie Kondo on it and put all of my designer pieces on display just so, you know, they have a little nice place to live and I can enjoy them when I'm not wearing them. So as a blogger, we're lucky to be gifted a lot of things, but when it comes to my designer bags, besides this Chanel, I was actually gifted that by an estate sale website. I work really hard um, to purchase these. I buy some used and um, some new, like I gifted myself the Neo Noé for my birthday and Jeremy was sweet enough to get me the matching wallet. But I love to keep these things on display. Same with my sunglasses. Because these are just things I love so much. So on top, I have a little display where I put the bracelets that I wear most often. Some little pictures and my glam box. And I know these are pricey, but if you guys are the people who, if you can't see it, you won't wear it. This is for you. It's an acrylic jewelry box. It holds so much. Let me take you guys through it. You can obviously see which brands are my favorite. And I have had some people ask why I keep my earrings on their cardboard backing. And in this larger section, it's actually just easier to organize it so it's not just one big mess in here. I'll show you guys in here. I mostly took them off their backings except for my Kendra Scott collection, but the rest of them, it's easier to organize in these small drawers. But you can see that Lisey Lurch is easily my favorite. And then J. Crew, Audra Style, Stella and Ruby, Bobble Bar, and then my full collection of Sugar Fix. I have all my little necklaces hanging up here. Obviously I love some dainty gold. And in the bottom I have my small earrings, rings, hoops, pins, and some nicer bracelets. For my longer necklaces, I found this acrylic T-bar stand and it just works perfect on my desk. I'll link everything for you guys below. On to my favorite part of the room. It is my vanity area. I found this light up mirror on Amazon as well as this ring light that clips on and you can even put your phone in there to record makeup tutorials. And I recently picked up this three tier stand from TJ Maxx and I love it for displaying things that I use every day, my fragrances. If you guys have not tried a sweet almond and honey, this smells delicious. And then you guys can tell I like sweet scented and rose scented those are my favorite i actually just picked this up from target yesterday and i've been trying it out it is a um illuminating setting spray i'm actually really liking that and then i'm loving the rose products from wet n wild i use their photo focus rose primer serum before i do my makeup 
my favorite lippies, more fragrances, and foundations. Then I found this little gold divider from Hobby Lobby and I keep all of my favorite palettes. So right now, I am loving the Cheek Leaders palette. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. This is like your entire face in one palette and that cookie highlight, it's amazing. I'm also loving Too Faced's Natural Lust, but besides that, you guys can see I've got my drugstore, well, sort of drugstore favorites, the Morphe Bronze Goals palette. You guys, the shimmers are not amazing in here, but these mattes, it's what I'm wearing right now. Obviously, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and then my OG favorites, the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palettes. These are so good, the shimmers in here are to die for. Then if you move on, I have all of my brushes in this cute little conversation heart mug and some more cute little things I like to display. These are all adorable little eyeshadow palettes. From there, I have this. <laughs> I don't use any of these beauty blenders, but I found this at uh, TJ Maxx and I thought it was so cute. Obviously, my Milky Mist, and I use this Dermalogica Prisma Protect under my makeup every day. It's my favorite under makeup moisturizer. And then you've got to have your Kleenex. Then a lot of the makeup I reach for is in here. These are all lippies. More lippies, I have so many. <laughs> I have all of my colored eyeliners and extra mascara in here some palettes, primers in here, and I think cheek stuff is in here. Then, and I love, <laughs> I keep my train case because we're like always traveling. Then in these drawers, I keep products that I use every single day. So favorite foundation, concealers. I love these Milani Hypnotic Lights as like a really sparkly eye topper. I have some hourglass. I set my whole face with luminous light, setting powders, more lippies. And in this drawer, I have more setting sprays, different eye products, and some more of my favorite palettes, as well as makeup wipes, because if I'm doing a wing liner, I always need these on hand. And just some extra product that I haven't opened yet. Now onto my desk area. I used to have this as a vanity space before I created that dedicated vanity space. So a lot of my overflow makeup is in here. Most of this is PR. But I didn't like having this space a shared space. I like a dedicated place to get my work done. So you'll see I have my camera and in these drawers, a lot of different accessories for the cameras, passport, more setting sprays, things of that nature. And I also wanna keep things I love on this desk. So I have my mini ears from when we went to Disney World. I found this little stand at TJ Maxx and I keep all of my watches on it. And then you guys saw the acrylic tea bar stand. And here I just keep Chapsticks, <coughs> pins, my little desk calendar with a picture from our trip to Positano. And then, in here is just different supplies, my iPad. And then if you come around to the front of the desk, I have this little gold ottoman and I usually just keep a purse that I recently got on it, the one that I wanna display, I'm loving. <laughs> this monogrammed one from Shop I Love Jewelry. I have my Hunter boots down here, and I have my Sorel boots because we are going on a trip to Alaska soon, and they're cute and pink, so I've just got them on display. Then, we have my little lounging area. Molly's showing you how we do it. Say hi, Molly. I knew, I knew I wanted for this room. It was a pink couch, but y'all, let me tell you how difficult it is to find a cheap pink couch or even like an expensive one. They're all, you know, thousands of dollars, 
but I found this one which is actually a sleeper sofa. So if we have guests over, they can pull this out and sleep on it. I found it at Walmart of all places. I love this part of the room. This is where I relax and watch TV. I also like to keep out things that I love. I wish you guys could smell through the screen, um, but I have a ton of candles that are rose scented. I love it for the spring. I also keep a journal and a pen in case I come up with an idea for a blog post or a video. And then my mother-in-law gave me this spring cactus for my birthday. Over on the other side of the couch, I have these little nesting tables that I got from at home. And I just keep some more things that I love displayed. Like I have a photo of me and my two best friends from my wedding. Some lip glosses that I can just grab and go down here. And under here, I actually keep things that I've recently purchased. I obviously went on a little trip to Kate Spade. So like I said, organization is a little tricky because of the vaulted ceiling, so I used this little shoe organizer that I had in my closet at my apartment, and I need to get these some of these fall shoes swapped out for some of my spring shoes, but I keep all of my heels and my sneakers right here. And I'll show you, I've got my boots still <laughs> under this little ottoman coffee table. I have all of my favorite over the knee boots and I just keep them right here because these are the ones that I reach for the most. As for sandals and flip flops, I just keep them in a hanging organizer over the door. Again, this is the only space that you can go up in this room. So I have some of my clutches. You can see I kind of hang everything on the door. And when you open the door, more organization. I keep my hats and all of my crossbody purses hung on this side. So I keep all of my wedges under the windowsill because they can't sit on those bars. And then over here, obviously I have a problem with purses. More are hung here. And my backpack for travel. And this is where I'll take my outfit selfies or do try on sessions. And the last two finishing touches to this room is first this wood bead chandelier that I got from World Market. I love how it kind of does the starburst effect with the light. And this rug. Oh my goodness, you guys. I had wanted this rug for under my desk space for months when I moved in and it had been sold out. So I just refreshed the page like every single day until it came back in stock. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed touring my Clopis with me. It is so nice to have my own little girly space that he would have to go out of his way to get to because it's the only room up here. <laughs> you know, when you get married and opposite sexes combine styles, it's hard to have an explosion of pink. It's hard to have a pink couch <laughs> right in the living room. So it's so nice to have this little loft up here where I can do my makeup, I can get my work done, and I can feel inspired by all the things that I love. So I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I have a ton more videos coming your way, and I love you guys. Bye.